Alright guys, uh, this is something a little bit different, which is basically no man is an island. I'm not getting the PC, PC brigade stuff, but quite simply, the opportunity is there for anybody. Um, but what I'm talking about is, I noticed when I was out in the Philippines, when I was living out there, many people keep their ideas to themselves. And some of it is they're worried about other people stealing the idea. Yet they could be in completely different islands and they're more likely to get competition from the neighbour next door than they are from somebody um, 200 miles away. But often they don't share information, advice, blah blah blah. That's the women watching the football. <laughs> um, but the, the point being is, with myself, I don't mind sharing a lot of the stuff I do. There is stuff that is what I call uh, niche critical which is very very simply that other people could get in the same niche and it would actually affect me adversely as such a lot of those ones I keep secret but I don't mind sharing other things like the crypto trading stuff don't mind sharing but people need to realize that I'm not taking responsibility for any of their losses or even their wins it's up to them to analyze the stuff themselves in the same way I would say that the Bitcoin market and the crypto markets are currently going sideways, which can be quite good for trading. The biggest problem for people like myself is we're locked in from last year, not this year. So we already have a lot of cash that's when the market was a bit higher. But even then, we're, we're in that lull before the, the main event. So whenever the main event happens, it'll happen. Um, but the trading for me is a bit smaller than I would have liked. Let's put it that way. Um, but there is other things like the locksmithing. Don't mind helping teach people how to pick locks and stuff. Um, teaching people the aircon stuff. Um, predominantly, the aircon stuff is the mathematics side is where I'm I'm stronger um, because I don't do much installations. I haven't done for a long time, and this is why I like the box units. Is something I've never even had to touch before. Box units in the split units because we don't need them. We don't use them. Um, we build units that are two million pounds a piece. They're not, <laughs> they're not uh, stuff you fit on your own. You have entire crews for it, and it's managing those crews is more my, in line with what I do, and making sure that the system fulfills its obligations of what it was designed for before they alter the building, what it's used for, and mess it all up completely. But up to a point, I, I make sure we, we've got what we paid for. So getting back to back on the tools is something. Um, it's not the saying I wasn't expecting to do. I, I do potter around anyway. I mean, it's like fitting the shower yesterday. But like that, I don't mind teaching people bits and pieces. That's not a problem. Um, in the same way, if somebody wants to learn how to program or stuff, I don't mind helping them get started on it. But I can't absorb too much in the sense I can't give you 20 hours a week of free tuition because it doesn't pay my bills but at the same time we have a group of people between us that have a, a variety of skills a variety of things that they can do and it's a bit like uh, the power plant stuff We're, we've got people in different countries that are trying to sell the plants at the end of the day everybody benefits um, you know we get get a sale through the other sales will fall off the back of it and it basically so if you say for example you you sell them in Canada we, we get one built and there's something going on in Mumbai at the moment and waiting to hear on some good news hopefully. Um, if that one gets built it's much easier to build, sell the next one. But say for example we get a client that comes from Canada um, and they've seen the one in Mumbai and wants one. You will automatically get a part of that simply because Canada is your area. So the first thing I do is refer them to you. And I had this same conference with a, a guy uh, that's setting up a conference in the UK. He was saying, well, you're in charge of this. I says, yeah, but there's a guy in the UK that deals with this for Scotland and, uh, well, Scotland and England at the moment. There's only one person dealing with it at the minute. Um, I says, whether he goes to the conference or not, it's up to him. Because at the end of the day, that's his area. If I come to it, it will be a bit with him to support him because at the end of the day, everybody has their own area. As such, I can't go in there and set, set up shop, start selling stuff and then cut him out because I don't want a business like that. I want a business where I'll get a cut of it either way and at the same time, he'll get a cut of it either way. That way, 
there's a bit of incentive to sell because the whole point is instead of worrying about getting cut out on a sale you can focus on the sales because you'll get a, get a win-win either way I see it with state agents here where they're trying oh you must contact me don't contact anyone else that are because they're worried about losing their sales that's not a way to do business everybody's stabbing each other in the back in the same office while competing with half the half the uh, half the half the county or half of Valencia for the same sales that's just stupid You're supposed to work together um, but I just want to bring that up as a bit of a thought that everyone has some skills that they can pass on knowledge to other people and a lot of people often just need something that generates a little bit of more income it doesn't need to be massive amounts of income but sometimes it's just ideas so for example a friend of mine does wooden bowls to the point he's actually bought a wood to supply the the bowls because he, he actually wood turns them but it only started with him buying a hobby wood wood turner um, and now it's up to the point he's got CNC equipment because he, he only does it in the evenings and weekends that's his hobby but he makes more money doing that than he does in the job yet would his knowledge dam be damaged by me doing what he does that's says no because I'm in Spain he's in the United Kingdom even in the United Kingdom he only goes to certain places to sell so if somebody's even 60 to 80 miles away they're already in a different market and that's the bit people need to realize a lot of the time you can help each other and at the same time he's already gone through a lot of the headaches relating to uh, the equipment he needed, the type of cutters he needed, etc, etc, and the types of wood that, that work best with it. But at the same time, you may have a marketing background, you may have to sort his website out, you may be able to help him in other ways that he can't do. You may be an accountant. And that, that's one of the things I do think, no man should be an island, uh, people should work together. And it's one of the things I do strongly promote, and this is why the channel exists as well, is to, to share information and knowledge. And it's good if other people uh, of similar background sort of think, you know what, I can help you with this, I can help you with that. But I think that's, that the world would be a better place for a start. And financially, we'd all be better off as well. <laughs> Thanks for watching.